taking you back outside this morning. This time, a live look over the Carolina coast in Kiowa Island. I feel like our producers are telling us we need to be at the beach, and so do you, because it is the start of summer today. Yeah, and Tony, with summer officially starting, uh, we're expecting that heat to really not let up, right? No, the heat's just going to continue to really increase into this weekend. Not necessarily for the start of summer today, but that heat index for this weekend will be back near 100. We're focusing on talking about the tropics, so you know what time it is, guys. Yep. Yeah. Let's have a look out there. Yeah, it's uh, all going to be settling in. So uh, let's continue to see how all of this starts to really uh, forge on ahead. We are focusing also out into the Atlantic. I want to give a quick check on this again. We're going to talk a little bit later in the show about Tropical Storm Alberto. But just as we look into the humble beginnings of uh, what is still trying to form out in the Atlantic, another system, it's weaker. It's still fighting through high pressure out there. So that's why it only has a 30% chance of formation. But we can see a little bit of that still trying to impact the southeastern U.S., Make sure to keep you guys posted if anything else becomes of this as we just keep going through and through this season. Right now, though, I want to make sure you're focused on the heat because that is going to be a direct impact to us, and that's happening very much so over the next few days. For this morning, you got to love it because it's a beauty of a start to summer. We see a lot of temperatures for our capital city right around 70 degrees. So nice, you know, with those room temperature numbers as we begin this day. The sun's shining all around the rest of the region. It's just going to be a mix for for the most part around the uh, mid to upper 60s. Unless we're talking about Lexington, some spots near, near a Lake Murray are around a 72 to start out the day. But it's really a beautiful morning. Gotta love it. Going through the tidbits here, we continue to keep you ready because uh, this is going to be a day like we've seen for, you know, much of the middle of this week where you've got a lot of sunshine, humidity not a big factor, but it continues to be on the uptick in a small way towards the weekend, but it also coincides with hotter temperatures. So not the best combination if you were looking to stay a little bit cooler. Every Everything continues to really come together and uh, really rises to a point between Sunday even and next week where we're all going to see a few weekend storm chances. Those linger more into next week. So we really get into a hot and sticky pattern once we uh, get into this realm of temperatures and we settle into this new pattern push for today. It's the last one of what we have been seeing. It is dry. It's a beauty of a start to summer. We hold on to high pressure and a little bit of a breeze out of the north and east. So this all keeps our weather situation in check, but we can't do that forever because it's summer. There's an instability that just wants to find itself back to South Carolina as it does for a lot of the southeastern states. So let's see how it progresses for us as we go towards Friday. Morning hours are fine. We're still really nice tomorrow morning. We could even still keep up with that north and easterly breeze for a bit, but by the afternoon hours that switches to the south and east and that's going to be a crucial direction because that allows more moisture up into the region and once we start to reach peak heating times tomorrow around 92 93 we're going to be seeing a few spotty storms to bubble up so watch out for that keep eyes in the sky late tomorrow for commutes home running out to the store anything you got going on with later Friday plans those will fizzle out quickly into the night but we can still see them try to pop up so watch out for that again tomorrow and then we continue to consistently see those little spotty shower and storm chances once we go through this forecast period because all that humidity is going to be back. Temperatures will keep rising impressively each day and we're going to see mid to upper 90s for a long stretch, at least in the short term forecast. So please just keep being weather aware out there. Drink plenty of water, especially if you're having, you know, something such as this today. It's also National Vanilla Milkshake Day as we start out this first day of summer. You want to make sure if you're having some dairy out there, you are, of course, are uh, having plenty of hydration too. Quick check in this three day outlook between today and tomorrow. Still settled into those low 90s, but it's when we hit that stride this weekend, getting to that range of mid 90s for high temperatures. The heat index there will be back near 100 or so, and that's not going to quit. Just look at all that heat as it holds into next week.